The usefulness of adjuvant chemotherapy after surgery for stage 2 colon cancer is unclear. It appears that many patients are treated to benefit a few, given our inability to identify which patients are at greatest risk of relapse. Delerba and colleagues designed a study aimed at identifying those patients. They used microarray-based multi-gene expression signatures to identify biomarkers of epithelial differentiation. The search identified 16 candidate genes. Of these, one encoded for a transcription factor, CDX2, whose expression levels were lower in more immature cancers and could also be studied with a clinical-grade diagnostic test. The study identified a small population of colon cancers, about 4%, that lacked CDX2 expression. The authors then evaluated the association between CDX2 expression and disease-free survival using immunohistochemical analysis of tissue microarrays. As compared with CDX2-positive tumors, CDX2-negative tumors were associated with lower rates of five-year disease-free survival, overall survival, and disease-specific survival. But in a large pooled database of prospective randomized adjuvant therapy trials in which CDX2 expression was not assessed at the time of treatment, Patients with stage 2 CDX2 negative tumors who were treated with adjuvant chemotherapy had improved 5-year disease-free survival. CDX2 positive disease, on the other hand, was unaffected by adjuvant chemotherapy. Preliminary testing in patients with stage 3 disease also suggested a strong association between adjuvant chemotherapy and improved disease-free survival in those with CDX2 negative tumors. The authors conclude that a lack of CDX2 expression identifies a subset of patients with high-risk disease who appear to benefit from adjuvant chemotherapy, and they advocate that these findings be confirmed in clinical trials. Full study results are available at NEJM.org.